hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide i'm back with another message for you the psalmist says as the deer pants for streams of water so my soul pants for you O god my soul thirsts for god for the living god where can i go and meet with my god my tears have been my food day and night while men say to me all day long where is your god I believe that's from the new international version so as the deer pants for water as the deer pants for water thirsts for water the psalmist is saying so is my desperation my longing for god your your soul is thirsting for god for the living god where can i go and meet with god my tears have been my food day and night while men say to me all day long where is your god this may not be for everyone but i'm sure it's for someone and i really hope and pray that the persons for this message it gets to them uh, because not everybody is going through the same thing at the same time so not everybody is having this thirst maybe some some of you some of us that thirst is quenched some of you you're going through this right now you're looking you're searching for god in your moment where you are the weakest the frailest where you are caught between the rock and a hard place and you need help it's like god where are you because day and night your food is your tears and for a lot of you a lot of us god is using your tears to water your dreams even though it may look as if you're crying because of the stress the burdens the frustrations of life the chaos that's happening around you god nothing that we go through will be wasted and god is using everything everything so that it will work together for your good because while you're going through this season it says men are saying to you all day long whether men or women people are saying where is your god because then it seems as if they are winning it seems as if they are stronger it seems as if what you stand for it's not really working because if like if you have a god and if you really believe in your god where is he where is he when it's like we are winning? Where is he when it seems as if we are outnumbering you? Where is your God? And you're in your time because in warmer months, this is when the deer needs more water. And we're not even there in warmer months yet. But for some of you, the temperature is rising. And it's like as the temperature rise in your life, in our lives, whether this is in your workplace, things are getting heated, in your romantic, in your platonic connections, in just everyday life, it just seems as if it's one after the other. Then there is this need, this, this desire for the protection, for the leadership, for the guidance of God, especially for those of you who rely heavily on God to be your source, on God to be your help. And so you are in this place where it's like, God, when, when are you going to come through? When is my prayer going to be answered? And I'm telling you, God is there in the midst. He's not forgotten about you. As the first card here, it says anxiety. So some of you are in this moment of anxiety. And I'm reminded, be anxious for nothing. But with everything, prayer, going to God to make our requests known, he's able to help us. 18 that's number nine endings bring new beginnings so for a lot of you this is the ending the ending of a chapter of being anxious waiting for answers 
it's the end of the season where it seems as if the wicked, they're flourishing and nothing is happening in your life. So for a lot of you, some of you, you're in deep thoughts. It says the garden and the gate. So it's like you're between the rock and a hard place, the garden and the gate. It's like, should I stay or should I go? You're in deep contemplation here. Deep contemplation regarding walking away from something or someone. You know, it's like these cards is like between the garden and the gate. And for a lot of you, some of you, 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 you have the answer. Or maybe this message will bring the answer for you. Because now it's like having the boldness, the faith, the courage to walk away from what no longer serves you. Here it's like a child. It's a child and now walking away. You're now an adult. You see the growth? The maturation is having the faith to step outside of the limitations, the barriers that were placed around you. Hi, welcome. If this is your first time, I welcome you. I hope this message will encourage you, inspire you. And as a result, you will join the tribe. It will be great to have you here. For those of you who are new, new soul tribers, returning soul tribers, Sending you, as always, the purest of love and light, knowing that God is for us, and because he's for us, who can be against us? We are blessed, we are highly favored, and may I have mm, double, triple, quadruple protection. We are protected. We are above and not beneath. We are on top and we're going higher. So, yes, so you are between the garden and the gate. It's like the rock and a hard place for some of you. With the anxiety card, it reminds me of like the nine of swords. Up all night, in your head, thinking, stressing. What should I do? Weighing the pros and the cons. Hoping, wanting to make the best, the right decisions for yourself, maybe for your family as well. But I believe that by you going within praying seeking we have not because we want not knock on the door shall be open unto us and for a lot of you this is what you're doing this is what you have done and now it's like the floodgates of heaven it's thrown open it's like you're you're making a dash for it you're not you're not going to let doubt or fear stop you it's the growth there. It's the maturation. It's you knowing that you know for sure what the answer is, what God has for you. Yeah, for a lot of you, a lot of hostilities, you've had to fight. You had to stand up for what it is that you believe in. Number 26, that's eight, right? 2024. It's standing up, having the courage to stand up, to fight back for what you want, even though you have people who may oppose you. Again, like the psalmist says, a lot of these people, they're, they're saying, where is your God now? Where is your God when you are outnumbered? Where is your faith when you have been saying you trust in God, in source, and look, deceit. So some of you, yeah, you may have people around you who are not honest. People around you who are throwing rocks and hiding their hands. People around you very deceptive, conniving. You can't trust them. And some of these people may be the ones who have you up in your head. Because it's like you've dealt with so much deception. It's like whatever you're going into, it's like you're thinking about it long and hard. Like, I don't want to make the same mistake. I've been there, done that. 
and look here comes the sun this is the clarity that a lot of you you're getting here right now number one number one the sun is coming here this is abundance the sun has everything that we need nutrition we can't do without the sun it lights our way and this is the clarity that you receive or you will be receiving that will allow you to make that decision should i stay should i go again whether this is in your career in your romantic life in your platonic in your friend group your social group your community whatever it is the sun is here to bring clarity on your situation in your situation yes healer of the ages i love it yeah it's like this is your purpose this is your calling and again this is what happens when we seek god you're realizing you are the healer of the ages you have a calling on your life a destined purpose and this is your moment of truth are you going to settle and let this opportunity pass you by and i i think not for a lot of you a lot of us it's like it's hard to make the decisions to walk away from people places and things that we have grown accustomed to but there are some things in life it has to happen a lot of us are used to moving transitioning and it's not easy saying goodbye like the song says it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday but see when you have a calling on your life a destined purpose yes walking away you have to take the plunge the deep dive having the courage to know what no longer serves us and cutting those ties yeah action again a card of 8 17 2024 action is talking about movement letting go letting go it's like finding your tribe finding the people that you connect to with the black and white horse is like the yin to the yang this reminds me of the chariot persevering having the willpower having the courage having the faith again in the face of hostility in the face of challenges to keep moving to keep going against all odds because see when it comes to your purpose when it comes to our calling a lot of us who have been stuck in a place of indecision again a card of number eight 2024 again going to the left or going to the right it reminds me of the two of swords you're caught not knowing where to go yeah indecision look broken heart it's like you have to make be able to make that faith move like I said, it's not easy to walk away from the things that we have invested our time in, our energy in. Because for some of us, where we are, it is stagnant, it's not growing. And that is because that's not where God wants us to make bed. You understand? It's like for a lot of us, we set up we make bed in places where it's supposed to be a stepping stone this was only supposed to be a place to teach you a lesson and then we're so tied down to it that it's causing us heartache heartbreak should i stay should i go it's like it's tugging at your heart it's pulling at you And like I said, you may have, we may have some people in our midst who are deceitful, 
who are trying to keep us trapped in, in this place of confusion. As if what's ahead is not greater than what you're leaving. Again, these are the same people. It's like in the background who are saying, while you are having this thirst and longing to hear from God, wanting an answer, these are the same people who are deceitful. It's like they're laughing at you in the background saying, hmm, where is your God? Because it's like you're looking to the wrong people for answers. They're lying to you. They're being deceptive and they're, they're keeping you stuck. They're trying to keep us in this place of indecisions where we are blinded to the truth. But like I said, the sun is here, but it's like they want to keep us with a broken heart as if you're missing out on something between this rock and hard place. But right in the middle here is the sun. The truth is like you know the truth. You know what is really pulling at your heart. But you may have, again, the enemy or enemies whispering lies. Lies. You know, storm warning. They may be telling you 10 is ending and endings bring new beginnings. So it's like people and situation may be showing you everything that could go wrong in a situation. But see number 11, and some of you, you may be seeing number 11. This is cornucopia. This is, this is blessing. You know, this is wish fulfillment. It's like, look at all the fruits on the ground. It's like, this is tied to your blessings, this happiness here. But it takes action. And again, we may, you may have to stand up to some hostilities, whether these are people in our families, in our social group, in our friend group, because there are some people, places, and things who don't want this to happen for you, who don't want this to happen for us. See, they don't want you to get on this temple path. They don't want you to get into your divine calling, your purpose, your place of alignment. You're meant to be a leader, an inspiration to guide people. And this is what the enemy knows. And again, sometimes we're going to the wrong people looking for answers when we need to go to God. Yeah, victory is yours. Victory is yours. Endings bring new beginnings. Victory is yours. It's yours. That broken heart will be healed. It will be restored. Yeah, caring connections. Like I said, meeting people who are your soul tribes. You're vibrating at the same level. People who will encourage you, motivate you, inspire you. Not the deception. It's like you're leaving all of that in the past. And you're making the decision to walk away. So that you can have this wish, this life. Yeah, where you're appreciated. Where you're appreciated. Appreciation. Where you're loved. Not dealing with ungrateful people who only take people who will appreciate what you have to offer and also give to you as well. Yeah. Patience. Some of you just need to rest. Yeah. Envy can't make it up. A lot of people, I mean, they, they don't like, and a lot of these people, they were ahead of you. And so they're able to see or get a clue as to what you're coming into. And this is why they're hostile. They are making sure they're trying to create blockages for you, obstacles in your life, so that you don't come into what it is that you're supposed to come into here. This is, this is regarding you having the discernment to seek God, 
to stand up in the face of opposition, to be brave, to stand up for yourself. Yeah, peaceful warrior, peaceful warrior, Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. And we saw the patience card too. Again, standing your ground in the midst of hostility, defending yourself, your beliefs, knowing that yes, this is my temple path. This is what I'm called to do. Divine is shifting me. You may be in a field where you're working and people may not understand why you're changing career. Why now when everything seems so prosperous or you know things seem to be working out but you know this is not where you're meant to be you have another higher calling on your life you are the healer of the ages and there's a path that you need to go on a path that is going to lead you into cornucopia where you're going to have care and connections victory appreciation you're leaving all the broken hearts behind. Yeah, the divine physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. So some of you may need healing in your body, restoration. Your prayer has been answered. The great physician, the divine physician is showing up on your behalf because you're the healer of all ages here. And in order for you to be, to heal, you have to heal yourself, be able to heal yourself, be able to speak life into dead situations in your body. Spirit is saying to honor your feelings, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So with this broken heart here, yes, it's okay to cry. Because I understand it's not hard, it's not easy to say goodbye to the things that we have grown accustomed to, the people. But it's like peeling back, shedding those layers, honoring your feelings, not pushing them under the rug. Wow. Yeah, it's having that inner power. The Divine Father, Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. For some of you, some of us, we've prayed for change and now it's here. And God is showing up. Our Divine Father is here to co-create with us. To have this partnership with us as we venture out. Even in the storm. Like the song says, I'll praise you in the storm. I will lift, you know, you're going to lift your voice either way. Even though your tears have become your food, I am still going to praise you. I am still going to trust you. Day and night. When I don't know what's ahead of me. It's scary, but I trust you. Yeah, and here it says, trust your choice, trust your vibes. Thank you, angels, today. I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Amen. And this is why you have the power. See, you're healed. You have the power to reconcile your faith, to be able to make that move, for us to make that move. To make that move. Healthy choices. That healthy choices to, to make decisions that are healthy for us whether in our mind or our spirit, our body. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions, healthy decisions in every area of our life. When it comes to caring connections, moving away from deceit, from hostility. And the last card here at the back, it says, speak your truth. Speak your truth. Thank you, Gabriel for helping me to, to speak with integrity, to be honest, to stand up. You are angels, you are, you are a healer, you're an earth angel, and you're called to speak your truth. And this is why you have to move on. 
Because for a lot of you, a lot of us, where we are, if we're honest, you have to be dumbing down yourself, dimming your light, afraid to step on toes on the toes of others. And this is your moment of truth, to speak your truth. Yeah, some of you loved ones in heaven, thank you, loved one in heaven, for, for drawing close at this time. Yeah, so for, for some of us, our loved ones are also our ancestors. They're guiding us as we venture out into this new path. They are, they are a part of our team collaborating with divine to bring about this cornucopia as well. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. You're protected. Thank you, Michael, for support, for surrounding me with your protective light. Archangel Michael is here. You are protected. Highly, highly protected. I'm telling you, he's really showing up in these cards here and new beginnings. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. Oh, I am ready. You are ready. You see, walking away, walking away, making the decision by faith to make the next move, to step off is like that, that fool's journey, taking that leap of faith into your destiny, into our destiny that is unknown. This is a, it's like closing one chapter and God is opening up another door, another window for us to be creative, to be creative, yeah, for this change and transition. Something that you're prepared for, you're prepared for, so you studied and you learn, and you're opening, you're open to learning new things, new things, yes. You're taking that step. You're taking that step. You're taking that step. Yeah, taking a step back. You're thanking your angels for helping you to step back from what's no, what's not serving you. Amen. Yeah, I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. I think, yes, this is you taking a, a faith move. And this is you getting the answer that is quench that will quench your thirst the answer that will bring you life that will take you out of a place of broken heart anxiety move us out of deception indecision into the marvelous light i love this for you i love it for us until next time be blessed and take care.